So Abba and Preach are successful YouTube content creators. They're at, I believe, 2 to 3 million subscribers, which I have to say is a fantastic feat. They have done a wide range of content, and I am actually a subscriber to their channel as well. Uh, however, something very unfortunate has hit them, and Hard Lens Media, as all of you have known, for especially for those of you who have been with us from the beginning, uh, know all too well that we have gone through the arduous trial of being shadow banned, censored, not once but nine times. Nine times we nearly had our channel destroyed, taken down, forever terminated. It's not a fun thing to go through which is why I like to joke I'm the world heavyweight champion, but I have always made a promise to stand in solidarity with those who do great work and always stand up against censorship and those that are being suppressed. Now, what is happening to Abba and Preach's YouTube channel? Well, they have done reaction videos to a content or a, an outlet called Jubilee, and the best way I would describe Jubilee, they're like how BuzzFeed used to be, or Vice, a combination of the two. And there is an organization working on their behalf or saying that they're working on their behalf um, to uh, copyright strike um, many of Aban Preach's YouTube videos in which they have reacted or gave commentary uh, to some of Jubilee's, you know, content, which, OK, fine. Now, I won't be able to play the full video in its full entirety, because if Jubilee is truly going after uh, content creators like Aban Preach of that size, um, and most likely they're going to try and go come after other people as well. So I'm going to let Abba and Preach uh, say it for themselves. But just so you guys know who and what Jubilee is, here's what they are. I find them to be a little bit mediocre. Jubilee. Jubilee Media is a digital media company that pushes boundaries, tackles taboos, and breaks the rules. We believe in discomfort and conflict and our pivotal forces in creating human connection. In short, we're not afraid to go there. So first of all, I want to play this video again. Um, please support Ava and Preach. I do not like what is happening. I stand against uh, anyone trying to censor or deplatform a content creator, uh, creators like Ava and Preach. And uh, I know that they could stand on their own, but uh, Hardlands Media believes in consistency. And I don't like what Jubilee or this company that's associated with Jubilee is doing to their channel. So let's go ahead and play the video. Today's topic, where we've been. Um, I've been dealing with some stuff on the back end. We got a bit of a problem where, as you can see in the title, uh, it looks like the Jubilee channel is trying to have us delete it. Now, maybe that's not the best characterization, but we don't know if they're trying to have us delete it. Well, what they're doing might result in us being deleted. Yes. Uh, we had videos recently that were flagged, uh, some new, some old, by a company called LDS Affiliate, which on behalf of Jubilee is flagging a bunch of their videos saying that we are infringing on their copyright. Now, when you see something like this, uh, especially when you become a content creator uh, and reaching, you know, more subscribers, you know, you, you will face off against this. This is something that will come down the road. And believe you me, that pit in the stomach is all too real. I'm very sorry that they got to go through this. And LDS Affiliate, which is saying this, doing this on behalf of Jubilee, uh, I would ask Jubilee, hey, what are you doing? Uh, they've been reacting to your content for years now. Now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, in 2024, these videos are a no-go. There was a better way of handling this, by the way, Jubilee. Now, I'm not going to make a video about something like this normally. I appeal it. I go through the same steps that I do with all the other channels. Generally, after appeal or two, everything gets uh, undone. But this time, no, they're going forward with the removal. And they're saying if these videos are not removed in the next five to six days, they will delete, they will give us a copyright strike. And there's enough of them that we'll probably get three copyright strikes and have all the channels removed. For those of you who are familiar, especially, um, you know, what happens to a lot of YouTubers, uh, when you get those three strikes, you are facing a termination, and then that requires uh, more work. This is not a fun thing to go through. Now, you guys might be saying, Abba, why aren't you panicking? Um, there's a couple of reasons. One, uh, I've always thought this was possible with you too. That's why I told you guys, enjoy us while we're here, because we could disappear at any point. Uh, and two... No, that's really the only reason. <laughs> that's the only 
reason I'm not panicking. I think I've always kind of, I got a bit of a doomer mentality in that regard. So this shit might go. And it's a bit frustrating because, you know, if somebody does this kind of, stuff it's like okay maybe maybe they're crazy about their copyright with this kind of content so i remember this because i remember we reacted to this a long time ago now i'm going to pause here because uh in the rest of that video i'm going to be fast forwarding uh through this point uh many of the people the staff members the owners the organizers for jubilee uh comment on abba and preach reacting to their content Surprise, surprise, they actually don't have too much of a problem. They 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 feel a little nervous when Abba and Preach put their gaze upon them. But fine. Okay. If 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 that is the situation at hand, um maybe you should have sent a private email instead. Say, hey, please don't react to any of our videos or anything of that nature. Fine. But I've actually checked out this LDS affiliate. And right off the bat, Reddit and so many other outlets are indicating that it's quite shady. And even in the comment section below to this main video, and I will be posting when I clip this video, I will be posting their original link so all of you guys can be re can read the comment section in their video as well. Because this LDS affiliate, well, there's a couple of red flags that are waving. So let's fast forward this just a little bit more, and we will continue on with the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let me get right here. There we go. Hold on. They had a little commercial break here. Let's pull that up. Again, anything. Because mind you, these videos have been up for five years. So this is a new change that some of this is. And for me, all I'm saying is just communicate this stuff. If your stance has changed, that's fine. But you shouldn't be able to threaten somebody's livelihood. Okay. When you come out and say, I'm good with this stuff, and then you change it and you don't inform nobody. There's a reason why we did more videos is because you verbally said that you was good with it. Like, the reason why we kept on doing it was like, well, so was you saying, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, We could have, but we didn't because it's fine. It's okay. Uh, and you went, so on and so far, whatever. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's not a big deal. Like, we have such a library stuff that we can pull from and things we can cover that this is not going to be a huge loss for us it's fine like, i think we might put out maybe what one or two videos on jubilee a day we put five videos a week. it's not a big deal we can replace that with something else but my question is what are they doing to smaller channels because i know they're not doing this to the really big ones and is this just a company that people have hired that have gone a y because that's happened before too it, it, yeah you know what i'm saying so to their credit like i don't want to say that, but i have contacted them i emailed them they've seen the email you know i've dm'd them and, and you know because there was no response i'm like all right let me just go about this because you know there's no answer privately and and figure this out now i don't want to slander them i like their content honestly i think they've fostered some really good discussions in the past but yeah it, it, it is a shame and this is what i've been telling you guys the viewers about this we are at the end of the day employees we don't have we might or contractors, but we only really are contracted to YouTube essentially. And this stuff is very fickle. That's why I say I don't take this for granted. I recognize that this shit can disappear at any time. So if it does, or if that ever happens, know that I'll be okay with it. I'm not gonna, you know, cry myself to sleep or whatever. But well, we could do something about it. So why don't you just take off the videos? Why? Why would you why would you keep them if that's a problem? It looks like it's a problem. So you could take them now and then it's not problems gonna be solved. Because I think it sets a bad precedent for copyright stuff on YouTube in general. I can understand that. Yeah, if you just let all these companies who just come in and then want a copyright claim, like listen, if there was going to be a legal battle, then let, let that be the case. And I think that's okay too. Why not? Because then what if everyone else starts calling copyright strike and everything? I understand. So would you and concede it, to it, that too? No, that's not what I'm saying. But if if like for example, we've had copyright strike before and they were deemed they were they were ruled that it was it was falsely done but now they're first they're somewhere somehow going through with this so would you want to do a legal battle with that i don't think that's a horrible idea i think that's fine and i think it's a worthwhile thing okay so you want to go with a legal battle with i think i would prefer that okay cool i didn't no, I'm, I'm not just sit here and be like oh well the channel gets deleted that's what i'm saying yeah at least that's what I, but i i prefer not having to do any of that because i don't think it's in their mission statement to be copyright straying people and deleting people and I, I know so this whole situation is really bizarre because you know what? From some creators, like I could see it, but from this one, I'm a little bit more surprised. 
surprised by it. But anyways, um, that's what's going on in the background. So I'll get back to uploading regularly soon in the future, but I just got to figure this out because I need to make sure if I'm going to be working on all the other videos that there's still going to be a channel around for you guys to enjoy. Um, hopefully, Jubilee can take care of this and handle this. Uh, apparently, we're going to start getting strikes in the next five days, so we'll see what happens at that point. But, uh, yeah. I want to pause here. I just wanted them to speak out and, you know, so we could hear their uh, thoughts on this matter. Um, but this is a very questionable action that Jubilee, as a media outlet, as they have said in their mission statement. Let's go ahead and pull this up here. Jubilee is a digital media company that pushes boundaries, tackles taboos, breaks the rules. We believe in discomfort and conflict are pivotal forces in creating human connection. In short, we're not afraid to go there. Now, I would pull up their content or show some of their videos, but if uh, LDS affiliate is on the war path to try and censor and suppress not only large channels like Jubilee, there's a 100% guarantee that LDS affiliate would come after hard lens media or anybody else. And there's a lot of shady companies and organizations and third parties that claim that they are working on behalf of other companies. Now, uh, Jubilee, I think they have the opportunity to do the right thing and say, hey, wow, our mistake before this thing escalates even further. And in the rest of the video, and I will be posting the original link to this video in the comment section below for all of you to check out, you will actually see members of Jubilee talking about uh, Abba and Preach reacting or commenting on their videos, which for the most part, they, they seem to be okay with it. And they've done it numerous times. So what has changed? This is uh, perhaps maybe a change in how the company is being run. But if so, there was a better way in which Jubilee could have handled this. Plus, throughout all of my research and checking out LDS Affiliate, it is quite shady as an organization. And that is something that anyone, especially if any of you choose to get involved in the content creation on YouTube, it's going to require you to keep your head on a swivel and be well aware that uh, there's companies out there that are going to come after you nonetheless. It's not the first rodeo, nor will it be the last. I want to pull up the rest of the video here and give their final thoughts. What's going on right now? What are your thoughts? I think you should take them down for now and take legal actions. I don't think the legal actions. I don't think the legal actions can be taken down. We could. We. I think. I don't think that we can. We don't have. Hold on. We can proceed with legal actions, but and still take those down. We could do both, but whatever. Because it's going to take a while. It's gonna take a hell of a while. Yeah. In the meantime, we could lose the channel. So possible. Well, there you guys go. Abba and Preach might just be gone real soon. What are your thoughts? It's possible. <sighs> I don't want that to happen. Uh everyone, uh, if you could, especially when I clip this video out, uh, please show solidarity and support to Abba and Preach. Um, like their content, follow them on so under social media. Um, I know all too well this kind of fear. I've gone through this nine times already. It is not a fun thing to do. It is a, not a fun thing to be part of. Uh, and it really calls into question overall how YouTube is going to be taking care of content creators, especially those who have really made this their livelihood. Um, and perhaps, again, this adds into something that I have mentioned before on the show. And that is, I am ever fearful of this changing landscape, especially as this election cycle here in America keeps on intensifying. We've already seen reports of censorship uh, getting out of control. We see uh, how the United States government, Congress is on this war path against TikTok. And then, of course, and we'll be talking about this later in the show, uh, how Australia wants, especially an Australian senator, wants to put Elon Musk behind bars. There is this need by the establishment authorities to censor and suppress. And of course, let's face it, not only here in the United States, but worldwide, governments can be bought and controlled by corporations or people with money. It's nothing new. We've seen it before. The United States has perfected it. And when you have these companies running amok, they're going to have their affiliates or third-party groups go after a lot of people because they want to have fear and control and power over everyone's thoughts. I want to say things are going to get better. But for consistency and because I believe in free speech and because I believe in content creators who do great work, Hardlands Media stands in solidarity with Abba and Preach. And in, in the off chance, if they do see this video, we stand in solidarity with you guys. And we invite you to be on our show so that you can speak your mind 
uh, and give us your thoughts on this whole situation. I don't want to see their channel deleted. I don't want to see that happen to anybody, period. So we got to stand up and do the right thing. And I believe in Abba and Preach, and they should remain. And Jubilee and this LDS affiliate need to back the hell off. But after reading some of your comments here, too, a lot of people saying Jubilee is liberal or just a neoliberal outlet. Well, you know, I think we, we, we all remember the time of BuzzFeed, Vice, and Vox. Eventually, they went away. Jubilee keeps doing this, too. They'll go away, too. They are their own worst enemy. Stay strong, Abba and Preach. We stand in solidarity with you.